Hi, I'm Zeke Peach with Electro Automatic, the leader in programmable DC power supplies, bi-directional power supplies and electronic loads. The video today is a little bit of an add-on to our PSB short or quick demo. Uh, this is going to show uh, something similar, but I want to show a continuous uh, seamless transition between source and sync mode. So in order to do that, uh, we have a similar setup as last time. We've got a PSB and the output of that is connected to a, a PSI power supply and an ELR load that are in parallel. So the load and PSI combination act just like a PSB, um, but it obviously requires two boxes instead of our one box solution. Um, so uh, what I've got here is the PSI is set up for 12 volts um, and an output of 10 amps and our PSB is going to be, so our PSI is at uh, 12 volts. Our PSI, or PSB, is going to go above and below our PSI set point because the PSI is set and that will determine whether we're in source or sync mode. So again, PSI at 12 volts. When our PSB goes to approximately 16 volts, it's going to start discharging energy out back through the load that's connected in parallel with our PSI. And as the PSB voltage goes down to 6 volts, then the PSI is going to discharge back through that PSB. So, and we'll see this basically continuously going back and forth on the scope uh, with the voltage waveform. And you'll see that PSI, uh, PSB doesn't require any external relays or um, delays or anything like that when going from source to sync mode. Um, so, in addition to that, I'm going to show you a very quick setup for our rectangle, tri uh, rectangle waveform function, uh, which is available on our PSBs, our PSIs, um, EL and ELR products. So if we go over to our PSB, um, we've got our rectangle configuration already uh, kind of set up. Um, so again, we're, here's a little diagram that shows the values that you're setting and what, what they represent in terms of the output. So effectively, I want uh, a waveform that's going to go plus and minus 6 volts around, around a 12 volt uh, uh, axis. So in order to do that, I started off with my off, uh, U offset of 6 volts, because that's going to be the lower edge of our triangle, our rectangle output. And then the top edge I want to be at 18 volts. So I'm going to add 12 volts to this 6 to get 18. And that's why I have uh, our UA at 12 volts. Uh, are you offset at 6 volts? Uh, our timing is going to be a couple hundred milliseconds per. Um, I, I increased that time a little bit. It can do it much faster. But um, because we have three different control loops all kind of fighting each other, uh, it's, it's just a little cleaner than, uh, than if you were charging and discharging a battery or uh, testing a drivetrain on, uh, on an electric vehicle, for example. So I'll hit next. In this screen, we're just going to set up what our plus, uh, starting and stopping voltage will be. So if I start, when I hit uh, start, this is what the static voltage should be at 12 volts. When I hit stop, it should go back to 12 volts. And then I've got a 20 amp current limit set for both source and sync. So we're going to go ahead and load that. And we're ready to go. So as soon as I hit start, that uh, the output of the PSB is going to start uh, going between 18 and 6 volts. You can see just on the screen we've got a plus and minus uh, 10 amps that's, uh, that it's fluctuating between. And if you look up at the, look over at the uh, oscilloscope, we've got our yellow signal which is our voltage uh, and that's going between 6 and 12 volts or 16, 6 and 18 volts. And then our pink signal represents the current. So as uh, we either go above or below our um, uh, PSI set point, we're either pushing or pulling current uh, through the PSB, and that's what the, the the pink signal represents. So again, you can con you can con uh, continuously do this function. Uh, there's it makes no difference to the PSB. Uh, it's going to run run seamlessly 
And again, this is a, a much easier setup when you need something that's bi-directional. You, you no longer have to have a load and a power supply in series. These are perfect, again, for drivetrain applications, battery applications, uh, and many, many others. So if you have any questions or want, to, want some help uh, figuring out how this, uh, the PSB could work for your application, um, please contact us uh, through our website. Uh, there should be a phone number or, or a, a link below. Um, and uh, we'd be more than happy to help you out. Uh, we also do online demos, uh, live demos using our setup here. So contact us anytime. Thank you.